state-of-the-art, modern, and environmentally friendly gold mining operation in French Guiana is about to be realized, much larger than any the region has seen before. It will spur a new age of possibilities for the region. It's called the Montagne d'Or Mining Company, a responsible, social, and environmental approach to mining gold. Two internationally established gold companies, Nordgold and Columbus Gold, will soon commence the project. Both parties will bring to the table a vast amount of experience in environmental and social responsibility and safety policies they gained working in Africa, Russia, Canada and the USA. The mine will also generate thousands of jobs and professional training opportunities, investment in infrastructure, driving massive social and economic change in French Guiana. Construction of the mine will start in 2019, with production commencing in 2022. In 2034 or later, when the mine closes, a five-year restoration program will start. This is based on definitive feasibility study, and the Montagne d'Or team are working hard towards achieving the goals. The project will create up to 900 jobs during construction, followed by 750 direct jobs and 3,000 indirect jobs during the entire operation. More than 90% of the employees will be hired within French Guiana. The project will also offer high-quality training to all staff with emphasis on safety. Montagne d'Or want to be an employer of choice in French Guiana, with employees who feel safe and confident about their future. For over 140 years, the project site was home to small-scale legal and illegal gold miners who have polluted the land and waterways through the prohibited use of mercury. Montagne d'Or is committed to protecting the natural environment and maintaining the local biodiversity, eventually returning the fully restored site to the community so they can safely enjoy the land for years to come. To achieve this, it will implement the latest technologies for a cleaner and safer mining operation. All process water will be treated and reused in the ore processing plant. Geomembranes will prevent infiltration from the storage facilities into the ground or water table. Cyanide will be securely managed in compliance with the Cyanide Management Code and residual cyanide will be destroyed prior to tailing storage. To prevent dust pollution, it will employ sprinkler systems and water down the roads around the mine. In order to power the camp with renewable energy, solar panels will be utilized on structure roofs. Comfortable accommodation, recreational activities, and healthcare services on site will ensure the quality of employee life. Of course, Montagne d'Or will routinely monitor performance through inspections, reviews, and audits. All equipment and processes will conform to best-in-class industry standards. The Montagne d'Or mining project is located in French Guiana's Paul Isnard area, 120 kilometers south of the town of saint laurent de maroni It will be accessible by an all-season forest road. A fiber optic and 90 kilovolt power line will be installed in the existing access road corridor to connect the site to French Guiana's power grid and communication network. Montagne d'Or, together with partners, will also launch education programs to benefit the local community. This will include basic and advanced skills trainings in Saint Laurent de Maroni. The Montagne d'Or will support biodiversity compensation program and NGOs biodiversity conservation programs. The project will bring in $350 million in taxes to the region, in addition to employment-related taxes and investment in infrastructure. The mine construction and production will generate a wealth of small industries to support the mining project. The project team is committed to gaining trust and adding value to the community by demonstrating a professional and environmental approach to mining. 
The Montagne Dome Mining Company believes it will help create an economy that the community can enjoy for generations to come. After 20 years, Montagne d'Or will return the area to its natural ecology and leave French Guiana with new industry and economic growth.